Welcome to the G7 Tally, the five-star partner of Tally Solutions. Welcome to Tally Learning Hub. In this session, you will learn how to create ledgers in Tally Prime. Just like you create different accounts to record your business transactions, we will create the same ledger accounts in Tally Prime. The common ledgers that every business needs are customers, suppliers, purchases, sales, cash, and bank accounts. We are now on the gateway of Tally, which is the main menu of Tally Prime. Let's start with a tip for you. For every option that you see in the menu, one letter in each is in bold. For example, in balance sheet, B is in bold and in vouchers, V is in bold. These letters are the shortcuts for you to quickly go to each option. So you press B for balance sheet, V for vouchers and so on. Similarly, on every screen in Tally, you will find a top menu and side menu. Using top menu, you can perform actions or settings related data, company, etc. and quickly navigate from anywhere to everywhere from any screen. Likewise, the options in the side menu help you perform various actions in the context of the screen you are. Here, before every option, the keyboard shortcut is given. One underline means that you need to press Alt along with the key given and two underlines means that you have to press Ctrl along with the key given. Now, let's start creating ledgers in Tally Prime. Creating ledgers in Tally Prime is so flexible that you can create it from different places that suit your flow. First, let's start creating a ledger while recording a voucher entry. Press V for vouchers. Press F8 for sales. Here, I find that party ledger is not available on my list. To create, just press Alt plus C from the field or select Create from the list. This will take you to the ledger creation screen to help you easily create them during the transaction itself. Type the customer's name, press enter, select a group for the ledger from the list. The group helps to identify the type of ledger we are creating. Since this is a customer's ledger, let's select the group as debtors. To select the group quickly, type the first few letters of the group and the list filters down. Type the customer's address and then press Y to accept the ledger. The ledgers now appear in the transaction. This is so flexible that you can start recording the invoice in a few minutes right after installing Tally Prime even without setting up your chart of accounts. Press Escape to come back to Gateway of Tally. Next, let's learn another way to create ledgers. From Gateway of Tally, press C for Create, type L and select Ledgers. Now let's create a supplier's ledger. Type the supplier's name, press enter, select a group for the ledger from the list. Since this is a supplier's ledger, let's select the group as creditors. Type the supplier's address, press Y to accept the ledger. Let's now create a purchase ledger. Type the name of the ledger as purchases. Select the group as Purchase Accounts. Now, here is another tip for you. At any screen in Tally, if you want to save what you have entered, you can press Ctrl plus A. And if you want to go back to a previous screen, press Escape. Press Ctrl plus A to accept the ledger. Similarly, let's create a sales ledger. Type the name of the ledger as Sales, select the group as Sales Accounts, press Ctrl plus A to accept the ledger. Let's now create a bank ledger. Type the name of the bank account, select the bank account group. Next, there are certain additional details you need to enter, such as your account number, IFSC code and bank name. These are only required if you want to use Tally Prime's banking features such as check printing, auto bank reconciliation and e-payments. 
Enter the account number, the IFSC code, select the bank name. Let's accept the bank ledger by pressing Ctrl plus A. Let's now go back to the previous screen by pressing Escape. Again, press Escape to go back to Gateway of Tally. In case you want to create multiple ledgers in one go, let's say you want to create rent, conveyance and office expenses under the expenses group. You don't have to create each ledger one by one. Press H for chart of accounts. Select the masters that you want to view. I'm selecting ledger. Press Alt plus H for multi masters and select multi create. Type and select the group as indirect expenses. Type the name of the ledgers one by one. Press Enter. Accept the screen. All these ledgers are created at one shot. Using the chart of accounts, you can view all the ledgers you have created along with the groups to which these ledgers belong. You can use the options in the side menu to change the view and discover more information. Press F5 to view ledger-wise and click Exceptions to know used, unused ledgers and so on. Press Escape and go back to Gateway of Tally. At any time, if you want to edit the ledgers you have created, you can select Alter. Select Ledger from the list and select the ledger account you want to edit. Press Escape to go back to the previous screen. Now, you will see that in addition to the ledgers you have created, cash and profit and loss account ledgers are also displayed. These two ledgers are available by default when you create a company in Tally Prime. Press Escape and go back to Gateway of Tally. Next, let's learn another way to create ledgers using GoTo. Let's say you are viewing balance sheet and found that you missed creating a fixed asset ledger account which had some carried forward balance from the last year. To quickly create a ledger from here, press Alt plus G for GoTo, select Create Master and select Ledger. Type the name Select the group as fixed asset, mention the last year carried balance in opening balance and press Y to accept. Press escape and come back to balance sheet. Now you can see the ledger you have created. This way you can create masters from any screen without leaving the report or abandoning the task that you were on. That is it. These are the different places from which you can create ledgers in Tally Prime. You can choose any of the ways that suit best to your flow. Alright, here is a quick summary of things we learned. On the fly, creation of ledger accounts from vouchers. Ledger creation and alteration from master's menu. Viewing chart of accounts with change view and exceptions reports. Creating multiple ledgers at one shot. Creating masters from any screen using GoTo. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. G7 Tally Plus for more videos.